Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's move on to geometric sequences. A geometric sequence is where every consecutive term is a fixed number times the previous term. That fixed number is called the common ratio. So here we have an example of a geometric sequence. Notice that we have to multiply this number by 2 to get the next number, multiply this by 2 to get the next one, 12 times 2 is 24, 24 times 2 is 48. So you can see here that the common ratio is equal to 2. You have to multiply each, each number in the sequence by 2 to get to the next number or the next term. So what we can do here is to find the common ratio, we can say that r is equal to a sub n divided by a sub n minus 1. So two consecutive terms in the sequence take the ratio and that gives you the common ratio of the sequence. So in this case it doesn't matter which ones we take. For example we can take a sub 3 and divide by a sub 2, two consecutive terms. So a sub 3 is the third number, 1, 2, 3, that's equal to 12. And the second one is 1, 2, that's equal to 6. And you can see that that ratio is indeed equal to 2. That's how we find the ratio. Now let's say that we want to find the 8th term. We want to find a sub 8 is equal to question mark. All right, here's the equation that tells us how to do that. We can find the nth term by taking the first term and multiplying times the common ratio raised to the exponent n minus 1. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, we write the equation down. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 power. So now we plug in what these are. The 8th term in the sequence is equal to a sub 1, which in this case is 3, multiplied times the common ratio 2, raised to the n minus 1, raised to the 8 minus 1 power. So this is equal to 3 times 2 to the 7th power. And what is 2 to the 7th power? Let's see here, 2 to the 6th power is 64, 2 to the 7th power is 128, 8, 1, 2, 3, 6, that's about right. So this is equal to 3 times 128. So this is equal to 256 plus 128, that's 376, that's 384, 384. Quickly checking to see if they did that correctly. 0, that would be 11, 15, hmm, 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 256, let's check real quick, 256, 128, 4183, 384, yes, 3 times 128, that's 9, oh, that's 6, 7, 15, 6, yes, I just did a quick check and it was correct. Uh, you want to know how that quick check is done? Like this, 3 times 128, we said was 384, so here I have the number 3, here I add the numbers together. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 8 is 11. 11, that's 1 plus 1, which is 2. 2 times 3, which is 6. Add all these numbers together, we should get 6. 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 4 is 15. 1 plus 5 is 6. And so that's how we know we did the multiplication correctly. All right. A trick that we used to do before we had calculators. So now we've determined that the 8 term is equal to 384. Hmm. Oh, is that correct? 2 to the 7, 128, 3, 384, 96. Well, let's see. Let's check it out to see if we have that correctly. Um, something seems a little off. I want to make sure we did it correctly. So that's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth term. So 96 times 2 gives us 192. So the next term would be 192 and then we multiply times 2 and sure enough the next term would be 384 and you can see we got the right value and we did it correctly. Well, it's a good thing to check to see if we did it correctly. So now we have an equation that indicates we have a geometric series and we want to find the nth term in the series. We find the common ratio, we plug that in here and it gives us the value for the n term in the series, in the sequence. And that is how it's done. Where'd you get that from? This equation? Mmm. Mm, I will show you on the next video. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what if you would, uh, what if it, uh, look at that and you can realize it's a geometric series and you keep thinking it's a arithmetic series? Okay. 
So let's assume that you think it's an arithmetic, uh, arithmetic or arith yeah, arithmetic series rather than geometric series uh, sequence. Then what you do is you find the common difference. So you take the difference between two numbers. Let's say you go six minus three, that's equal to three. And then you take the next two, 12 minus six is equal to six. Since they're not the same, it's not an arithmetic series, it's a geometric series. So you can quickly check. 